Hey guys, this is the Triple J Bros bringing you another Halo 4 gameplay. Today we're doing an introduction to all of the Halo 4 weapons that have been added into f f what 343 has done. And first we're going to the weapons and this time I'm going to review the UNSC first. So first off, we are going to see at the mag the Magnum which holds 8 bullets in one clip and testing fire you can rep, you can you can like rapid fire tap tap it it's a semi auto and it's still not quite a good damage though but still but this pistol is quite good for using a SWAT in Halo 4 and this is the assault rifle looks pretty cool fully automatic you cannot scope with this Oh, by the way, you s you also can score with the pistols too. So, so y yeah. Now moving on to the pis to the assault rifle, you cannot scope with this. As I said, fully automatic testing fire. It holds thirty two rounds maximum. And moving on to the battle rifle, which which looks really 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 cool. The re they've remodeled the battle rifle from the beginning, so... And now we are going... You can scope with this, but you only have like one scope view. That's pretty much it. It's a free round burst. Maximum is 36 rounds. And yeah, testing fire. And that's it. Now moving on to the DMR. They've brought this back from... Ba from Halo Reach. It holds 14 ammo in one clip, De still semi auto, and you still also can still scope with this. So, yeah. So, it's still really, really good to use. It's really awesome. So, yeah. Now, moving on to the sniper rifle. It holds four, four rounds of the four rounds in one clip, and you can zoom it, but you can like double zoom it. So this is five, and this is times ten. So yeah, testing fire. It's it's still semi-auto by the way. That was it. Now moving on to the rocket launcher. Yeah, it looks really awesome. Could be bothered, anyways. Two rounds at still as always, and now uh, it's still explosive, really damaged. Boom. Sorry, you guys, I did that. Uh, it wasn't supposed to do that. So. So yeah, it only holds still two rounds, and that's it. Now moving on to the oh yeah by the way you still can scope you still can scope with this too now moving on to the shotgun really really awesome looks really really awesome hello yeah and looks really really cool I like it it holds six rounds and yeah It's not fully automatic, you, you still have to, do, it's still semi-auto, so yeah. Moving on to the sticky detonator, it's similar to the, um, let's just say it's similar to the grenade launcher, but it actually sticks. There's two modes, either you either want, want, want it to leave it until it explodes, or second, you either remote detonate it. And also, you, as, and also you can see there's a yellow thing, that, which that, that's actually me. And also the blue thing as well, which is actually the Banshee. So it pretty much tells... So it pretty much tells you like... Hmm... It tells you like where... It's like a small little map. So... Yeah. And now let's see if I can stick myself. Ah, out of bounds. 
And also, by the way, it only holds one round, so... Yeah. You also cannot scope with this too, so that's pretty much of a bummer. And we're moving on to the UNSC new gun. It's a light machine gun called the SAW. The SAW, which is known as the Squad Automatic Light... Squad Automatic Weapon. And it's really, really beast, and it's deadly. It's deadly at close range, but not deadly at, at far range, so... Yeah. F testing fire. And by the way, if I haven't told you guys, if I think I did, so I can't remember. So it only it holds seventy two rounds in one magazine. So yeah. So yeah, it, as you can see, it was really deadly, and it's really powerful. So yeah. So moving on to the railgun. Explosive, deadly. It only holds one clip, so it's similar to the Spartan laser, but it's the controlling to this is different. So, as you can see, that was I was holding the right trigger all the time. So, and this time, I, if I re once it reaches to to the maximum, I let go. It's that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna do it right now. So yeah. That was pretty much it. Now, so this real gun is pretty much explosive. It's really deadly. It's a one hit kill too. So moving on to the Spartan laser, which looks really, really cool. The M6 G N G N R, whatever it is. I don't know what in the world does that mean. It's still the same. It only has four shots on it. It's still 100%, so you either can scope with this or I don't know. Boom. It has also an overheat meter too. Yeah, I like this gun a lot. So moving on to the frags. Yeah, those are the frags. So if I do this, it rebounds and that's pretty much all it does. Maximum you only hold two grenades as always. But if you have some kind of perk on, if I think it's on, on tactical or support, you can hold up to three grenades, which is really, really cool. Now, we're moving on to the turrets. The, this is called the mounted UNSC turret. Looks really, really cool comparing to from the first um, Halo Reach turret, and also comparing to Halo 2 too. And now, as you can see, I set, up, set it up like about three, three of those. Like those explosive fusion coils. Also set up a turret. A teleporter here, so I am going to fire all of it. So yeah, I it's there's two what there's two modes to this. It's either once once on the turret, it has like about it has infinite ammo, but it does overheat. And second, if you detach it, it will you will have limited rounds, but it never overheats. So yeah. So that was the turret. Now if I detach it, it changes to in 100%, so 100 rounds, so you cannot reload this gun. The problem with this is um, your walking is quite slow comparing to comparing if you're like walking like this normally. So yeah. Now moving on, before I go into the Covenant stuff, I am going to go through the plasma turret. And by the way guys, I finished reviewing all of the UNSC weapons, now moving on to the plasma turret. Plasma kind of whatever it is. It still does works the same thing from comparing to the UNSC turret, so yeah. Your walking is still the same, so yeah. Oh well, down it goes. And by the way, guys, if you want to know, if you want to know what map I'm in, I'll review it after I finish reviewing all of these weapons. So yeah. So we're moving to the plasma can plasma turret. I mean, the plasma pistol. <laughs> Yeesh. There's two modes. You either send me auto or charge it up. It can take down a pretty much like the people, pretty much the 
the shields of it, of the, you know, other Spartan shields. It does charge, once you charge it up, the usage of the ammo of it, it's pretty much really, really quick. It runs down. See? It, it runs out really, really quick. So, use it wisely. And, yeah. Now, moving on to the plasma... I mean not the plasma, the storm rifle. This is and this is the this is pretty much two of them together, which is um the plasma repeater and plasma rifle from Halo Reach. They've just pretty much combined it together, so yeah. The circle of it it means how much how accurate it is, but this thing it does overheat still. So as long as you keep on shooting into the into it make sure you don't lose out of the circle or else it's just going to lose its ac so it's much, not much really powerful and not much accurate so yeah and also you cannot pick up, pick up any ammo for this so yeah but except for the carbine the covenant carbine which I'm going to show you this it looks really really cool as you can see this is similar to the DMR so are you, are you, un are you, you either scope or you unscope but I recommend you scoping with when you're using this gun because it's much more accurate comparing like no scope so yeah this gun can only hold like about 18 rounds I think so well these two you cannot pick up anything as ammo so that was a bit of a bummer moving on this thing can hold 11 needles in one gun so if I manage to aim right Yeah, it has a slight of damage boost and a speed boost too. And now we're moving on to the beam rifle. The beam rifle, it has remod. They have remodeled this. It does overheat still, and yeah. So you still, it's still the same. It still works the same thing as the as the UNSC sniper, but you cannot pick up any ammo for this. So that was a bit of a bummer. It does overheat also too. See, it does overheat. So, yeah, it only holds ten shots on on this. Once, once this is used up, you cannot use it anymore. So that was not nice. So moving on to the energy sword. If I manage to show you guys this, this is the energy sword. Looks really really cool. Comparing to Halo Reach, I cannot use this to anything because um, it's useless. Literally, useless. Whoa! We I'm walking down the ravine or whatever it is. Yeah. Now let's move on to the Um Yeah, it's pretty much like a one hit kill too. It's really deadly. Now let's move on to the fuel rod cannon. Still still looks the same thing. It it's similar it's similar to the the UNSC cannon you also can scope with this it holds five rounds you it also really really fast too so so yeah that is still awesome to use so moving on to the gravity hammer that is the gravity hammer see there it still works the same as the gravity hammer but I said you remember last time in Halo Reach the, it, the, the, the hit marker it's pretty much like on an angle but this time they just move it like in, in a straight line so so the problem with this gu this weapon is no matter what you're hitting even though you're not using hitting an enemy it has a it it drops down a, in a random energy sh drop so for example 100 92, 83, so it pretty much has a random chance of it. So, moving on to the concussion grenade, if I manage to get it, and by before I take up the last one, it's this is the plasma grenade. This is the concussion rifle. They brought it back from from Halo Reach. Still acts the same thing. It's maximum six rounds. You cannot scope with this too, so yeah. 
And moving on to the plasma grenades. Now let's see if I can s stick you guys over there. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Boom, yay. Okay, now moving on. The plasma grenades, there's two there's a feature to it. It does rebound still, but it also can stick people too. So yeah. If example if I do Okay, let me just spawn a vehicle. Example if I spawn a ghost. It does stick. So yeah. Moving on. So that was it for the Covenant. Now let's move on to the Forerunner weapons, which are newly added into the game. And this is the bolt shot. Really, really highly detailed. They've really put a lot of effort to this. So, and as you can see, as you can see, there is like a slight motion when I once I picked up the gun. Yeah, it keeps on doing that once you pick up the gun. So that was a pretty little annoying. So th this is this one has two modes. You either single fire. Or you charge it up. It's a shotgun charge ammo, so it holds ten rounds in one in one clip. And now let's move on to the light rifle. If I met, if I think, yeah, that's this is the light rifle. It holds about thirty six rounds. I mean, like about thirty six rounds in. If you unscope, so this has two modes. Uh, this is equivalent to a battle rifle and a D DMR. So. So as you can see, what when it's unscoped, it's a like a free round burst. But when you scope it, it's actually a one shot. So when it's scoped, it only holds like about fourteen. But but if unscoped, it's like about thirty six. So yeah, but it, the sounds different though. So if example, hmm, oh well, it's just gonna try. So yeah, as you can see, or as you can hear, the when I uns when it's unscope, it sounds really different. So, but if I scope it, it sounds different too. It's, so once you like, um, you scope of it, it has like a much more sharper sound. So yeah, this is called the Forerunner Suppressor, and it's fully automatic. You cannot scope of this, and it only has one mode, which is fully automatic. And this holds like about 32 rounds, same thing as the UNSC, UNSC, um, I can't remember, the UNSC Assault Rifle, I finally remember it, so, this gun is really deadly at close range, so, yeah. So, I really like this gun a lot, so, yeah, moving on to the... Forerunner shotgun, which is called the scatter shot, which was revealed in E3 this year. There's one cool feature to it, and you but the problem is you cannot scope with it, so yeah. So there's one cool feature to it. So it does this. It actually rebounds its its little thingies, which I don't know what in the world does that mean. The I think the the preparates or scaplets or I don't know. Whatever it is, so it does incinerate people too, so now if I suicide myself for some random reason, I think, or first I'm going to suicide myself first, then after that I will show you there's two new features. Oh, come on. Oh, luckily I got a ghost here yeah that was a ghost so I'll I'll move on to the, the ghost later oh come on it just disappeared the body oh well, that was useless oh well it doesn't matter well it does incinerate people so simply I do this See, it does incinerate, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. 
it does incinerate people, which is cool! Yay! I'm back here, okay? Now, moving on... Yeah, and the new Forge detail, it actually has lighting systems like all these shadows, which are pretty cool. So moving on to the binary rifle, which is a one-hit kill too, and it also does incinerate people too, so it's the same thing as the Forerunner scat Scattershot. So it still works the same thing as the scoping. It Yeah, it still has like two zooms, so... It's really, really accurate too. So if I do, it does rebound too. So if I do this, well, the maximum rounds it only holds about two. So yeah. Well, this when you un when you scope it, it's really, really powerful to use too. So now we're moving on to the last which is called the Forerunner weapon called Incineration Cannon. A beast, you don't want to mess with it. So, example, it does incinerate, incinerate people too. So this gun is equivalent to a shotgun, flamethrower, and a rocket launcher. So you do, you do can score with it too. So yeah, the radius is seriously big. It only holds one round, so yeah. See, it does spread the impact. But as you can see, if I manage to go over there, see, it's really, really deadly. So you don't want to mess with this. So now we're moving on to the pulse grenades. It does this, it pretty much destroys their shields. Like, is that move? So yeah, it does take down the shields really, really quickly as long as they get out of there. So, yeah. Now we're moving on to the armor abilities, which this first one is a jetpack. Mm, yeah. Well, it still acts the same thing as a jetpack, so yeah. Moving on to the thruster pack. It does this. So it depends, no matter if you're on the ground or you're in the air, you still can... So it's, this one is pretty much similar to evade, so if I do it on the ground, it does that. But if I jump up, you still can do it in the mid air, so yeah. But this this ability it's really really powerful if you do it on flood. The if you're on your infected flood, it's well by the way guys, the flood is similar to the infection zombies versus survivors, so yeah. If the zombies use the if the flood uses this frost effect, it's seriously seriously powerful. So the active camouflage still works the same thing. This is real as long as you hide in the corner and if you're playing Dominion, it's really really coming really handy. So moving on to the Heart Light Shield, it just does this. Once you activate this, um, it does take down your armor ability quite quickly. And it does take quite a while to recharge too. So it depends as you can see it's not fully charged, I still can use this. It's still also grenade proof and bulletproof too. So moving on to auto sentry. Which does this. It summons this little guy. Well, he takes quite a while to... Well, he stays there quite a long time. He cannot move. He only does, like, protecting in one area. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to the Promethean Vision. Well, the Promethean Vision does this. You can, It's able to see through objects. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But the Promethean Vision is take it takes down the armor ability quite quick, so use it wisely. So moving on to the hologram, the hologram as you can see, it still looks the same. It just creates a hologram of you, and that's really it. So yeah, and this is me holding incineration cannon, a beast. <laughs> okay, now moving on to the last one, which is the regeneration field. This ability it's really really awesome it generates a it, it does this but the problem is it takes a long time to recharge so even though I'm damaged myself lol yeah it still does incinerate people too so that was it that was a regen field it so no matter if you're in 
if you're in the shield thing, you're still able to... I don't know. You're still able to regenerate your health. So yeah, that's really cool. So moving on to this, these three sniper rifles, which I've mentioned, this is a sniper rifle, the beam rifle, and the binary rifle. So I've set it up three landmines over there. So yeah. No scope. Oh, damn it. Yay. Now moving on to the beam rifle. I'm terrible. Yay. Yeah. So moving on to the binary rifle. I imagine aiming right. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the weapons in Halo 4 that 343 added. Now we're moving on to the vehicles. If I manage to fly right. Okay, moving on. This is the Mongoose, which only has a two passenger seat. <clears throat> Woo. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Okay, so on the front, it has two passenger seats. So the first one is on the driver, which drives the Mongoose. The second is you. Like sit, sitting on the back and uses whatever weapons he's using. So moving on to the right, to the monk. What was it? Um, warhogs. There are three warhog types. It's a free passenger. So the first the first passenger drives it. The second one rides in it to use the guns, and the third one, which uses the turrets. Well, these three warhogs are still the same. So the first one is the machine gun. Which it does overheat, but it takes a long time to reheat though. So that was the machine, which this is the default. Second, which is the Gauss. It never runs out, but it does take a while though. So moving on to the rocket, which they added back from Halo Reach. Boom! I like this a lot, so this is pretty much my favorite one. And there's also two more vehicles that they added, which is the Mammoth and the Broadsword, which I haven't got up to to that part, which is not available in multiplayer, so that's pretty sucks. Those two are the Broadsword and the Mammoth. So moving on to the Scorpion, which is a big ass tank, as you can as you know. So it only holds two passengers. One is who drives the Scorpion and the other one who controls this machine turret, as like, we all know. And this is the thing. I pretty much have fun doing this. Let's move on to the Warhogs. Just give it a test spin. So, yeah, they're pretty much all the same thing. So, yeah. Moving on to the last but not least. The Mantis. It has a machine turret on its left. But it does it does overheat still. So, and the, on this one, it has a five canister rocket pod. So, as I go climb in, but it does take quite a while to get up to its knees and move around. Is it slow? No, as you can see. And um, it has weapons still. You can also fire both at once. So, so yeah. So yeah, that was pretty cool. As you can see, it's, there's two modes to there's also two modes to its fire to its fire from the rockets. So you either single fire as I just did just now, or second you charge it up, which comes out like a fire like a fire thing, which launches all of the five rockets at one spot. And it also can target rock too. Now lots of people like thinking like taking the risk, but doing this of course. As you know, this is called tea bagging. So yeah. Now moving on to the Covenant. Bear with me, guys. We're almost there. This is the ghost. 
it it never runs out of of its guns or what this turret thing, and it does this. It also you also can boost it as well, as I did from that from there to down there. Now and this thing this wraith still operates the same thing, but this one operates a plasma turret which is shown over there, and the other one which operates the this. That explosion thing. There's two modes. Yeah. Well, you, if you want to move it faster, you can do the boost. But it does use the boost really, really quickly. So just be a reminder of that. Oh, well, I don't really care about it, anyways. Now moving on to the banshees. A flyable vehicle. You can do side flips. You, you're saying boost it too. You can do side flips. If I manage to do it. There we go, and up flips. It has two weapons to its to itself. So first, which is the plasma turret rapid fire. So, or second, you do this. That was a few rot missile. It does not target lock, so that's pretty much really sucks. Now we're moving on to the the shade turret, which added back from Halo Reach. The slow the moving around the screen is really really slow. But it's recoil, not so much. It does fire really, really quickly, and I love this a lot. So that was pretty. So that was pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy all of the weapons and the vehicles that they have. They have added. So we're moving on to the map review. This map is called Ravine. This map looks absolutely stunning and looks amazing too. As you can see, there's like a greenery area, some hole, some things over there, and this thing down here, which is known as a rave ravine, as every that's why it's named Ravine. So, yeah, as you can see, the details and the graphics to this, it's really, really stunning, and it's absolutely amazing. Now we're moving on to so that was pretty much it for the all the entire map. There's no difference to this. It's this is pretty much like combination of Blood Gulch and and I don't know whatever it is. There was another map that was in, mentioned which is called Fortune thing. I can't remember. So as you can see, there's also a really cool feature to New Forge. The Forge, like as you can see, I placed down this. It also creates shadows, which is really really stunning. Which I like it a lot. So this is pretty much going to look for all of the. Maps of this are going to look really much cooler. And the water. Well, it looks really, really cool too. So it's like a small little lake, it leads to nowhere. And yeah. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Please, sure, please make sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And Game of the Week episode 4 will be coming out really, really soon. So hopefully, you guys will be looking forward to that. And enjoy. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And see you in my next video. Bye.